you know, we all stand up together. We call it out. Uh, make sure you guys know about Mahsa Amini. She was a 22 years old yes. who lost her life, got murdered by morality police in Iran. And we're here for the freedom. Hope, hopefully this revolution will happen and everything will change back country. Yeah. <laughs> support the people, support the people. Announce that this dictatorship must come to an end. Hello, my friend. I'm just reading your sign. We stand with the brave woman of Iran. What do you think our government should do to help the people of Iran right now? Just gun. Just Pardon gun. me? Just gun. Just guns? Yeah. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. And a massive protest is taking place right now on Young Street between uh, 16th Avenue and Major McKenzie. Uh, it's actually being closed to traffic. That's how big it is. Thousands of people are here. And the reason is much like the reason for protests erupting in Iran and all over the world. Late last month, Masha Amini, a 22-year-old Iranian woman, died in police custody very mysteriously. Why was she arrested, you ask? Well, the morality police arrested her because she wasn't wearing her hijab properly. Can you imagine? So the protest has spread to all of Iran's 31 provinces, to cities around the world. And uh, here we are in Richmond Hill where there are literally thousands of people taking to the street. And I got to tell you, folks, two questions spring to mind. One is, what can Canada and other Western democracies do to help the Iranian people right now, especially since thousands have been arrested, dozens have been killed while demonstrating? And secondly, um, isn't it funny? Uh, maybe he's here, but I don't think he is. The Liberal MP for this riding, the riding of Richmond Hill, that would be Majid Johari. I don't think he'll dare show his face today, much like he didn't dare show his face at the vigil two years ago when the Ukrainian Airlines uh, plane was shot down. That's because if you can imagine, folks, Majid Johari actually supports this regime. Yes, a Canadian member of parliament is an ally of the biggest state sponsor of terrorism in the world and it even terrorizes its own people. In any event, let's wade into the crowd and see what these folks have to say. The Islamic Republic is not Iran. Uh, I think most people here, virtually everybody would agree with that. I guess there's a lot of people experiencing buyer's remorse from the 1979 revolution. Yeah, I agree with that and that's why we all here and we're supporting the people and our people and we are our wo their voice in here. And you know, it's such a shame what happened to Miss Amini. She was arrested by the morality police, died for not allegedly wearing her hijab properly. How can this force be called the morality police? That seems to be the most immoral thing possible, killing someone for not wearing clothing properly. That is just shameful, and this is not right. Um, there, these protests have spread to all 31 of Iran's provinces. They've spread to major cities around the world. Here we are in Richmond Hill, yeah. thousands of people. Um, here's the big question, though. In terms of tangible change in Iran, what would you like to see countries like Canada do to help the Iranian people? Sure. The main thing that we want to get across is getting the IRGC as a terrorist organization. They have a lot of family here. There's going to be people here that you don't know. They're associated with the regime back home, but they are. They're going to be taking pictures of everyone, trying to catch them back home, putting them in prison. So that's something we want to put a stop to. They own a property in Bridal Path. They own multiple businesses all around the GTA. We want to put a stop to that. Vancouver, all across Canada. We want to put a stop to that. Be our voice and support us. Now it's the time for the regime to go. Now we're looking for the revolution. We are here. We're looking for the revolution. We want revolution. Be our voice. Now it's the time. Please, now it's the time. Be our voice. First of all, I think uh, Canada can do whatever the states did before. Uh, here is a, like a country that uh, Iranian government uh, used as a money laundry country. Okay? And uh, for example, uh, this, the military system used this country as a backyard, okay, to send uh, the family, the money, everything to Canada, but they stay in Iran. 
Well, sanctions are first, yes. but support them. Be there and be their voice. They need to hear that the that the world is with them because they're they're running towards bullets. Mm. So they need all the support they can get. Uh, you know, you know, certain people uh, they're not they're not backing up the the population of Iran, the actual Persians, and that's you know that's not really good. But you know, we all stand up together. If you call it out, uh, make sure you guys know about Masa Amini. She was a 22 years old yes. who lost her life, got murdered by morality police in Iran. And we're here for the freedom. Hope, hopefully this revolution will happen and everything will change. Back country. Yeah. The support the people. Support the people. Announce that this dictatorship must come to an end. Hello, my friend. I'm just reading your sign. We stand with the brave woman of Iran. What do you think our government should do to help the people of Iran right now? Just gone. Just Pardon gone. me? Just gone. Just guns? Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> Just guns. Hey, do you think that's going to happen, folks? J Justin Trudeau is uh, managing the biggest gun grab in Canadian history. Um, then again, there's going to be a lot of inventory. Maybe those firearms should be sent to the people in the streets of Tehran. But I don't think this Prime Minister has the intestinal fortitude to do that. And how do you feel about the fact that the Liberal MP for this riding of Richmond Hill, Majid Johari, he's actually a supporter of the regime. I don't think you're going to have a voice with that. I mean, how is it possible that someone in a Western democracy would support the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism? I don't know why he's here and he should not even be living here and this is very shameful and i'm i feel very sorry that he's i don't even feel sorry that he's not here and he should he should be very shameful of himself he should be very shameful like he, he probably doesn't dare himself. show his face at this protest yeah, because yeah. nobody accepting her and we don't want him and we don't want him in parliament we don't want him anymore he should leave well, hopefully there'll be regime change in Iran and in Canada. I hope so too. Be our voice, please. <laughs> Women, life, freedom. Jin, Jian, Azadi. This is Farzi. I don't understand it. I know who he is, Majid Johari. Yes. Is he here today? No. What no, do you think no that is? No one see him. Uh -huh. Yeah, no one see him. And he's not here he because not here. because he actually supports the regime, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He supports the regime. Yeah. He supports the regime. He's liberal. Well, folks, what a sight this is. This is indeed the hill in Richmond Hill, the hill leading up to uh, Major McKenzie here on Young Street. And uh, in the 24 years I've lived in this city, I have never seen a demonstration of this size. Literally, the hill is alive with the sound of protests. But the thing is, that's the big question, is, isn't it? In the days and weeks to come, will we see anything tangible happen in the Islamic Republic of Iran, will there indeed be regime change or will the mullahs there brutally snuff out this protest that is occurring with their own people? And secondly, unfortunately, we really can't expect the Justin Trudeau liberals to stand up to the regime. Sure, they'll throw a few sanctions here and there, but they turn a blind eye to the agents that are here. They turn a blind eye to the money laundering. They turn a blind eye to members of the regime coming into Canada who literally have blood on their hands. And look at the MP for the federal writing of Richmond Hill, Majid Johari, an ally to the mullahs in Iran. Can you imagine? It just goes to show, I think, with friends like Majid Johari, who needs enemies? For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, you know we love to bring you the other side of the story. You know the story that the mainstream media, aka the state-sponsored stenographers, aren't going to tell you. But we need your help. Please go to rebelinvestigates.com. That's rebelinvestigates.com. And if you can kindly make a donation, that would be greatly appreciated.